And there are some steps that you can take to help slow down the spread of the coronavirus and keep your community safe. Kelly and Sarah McDonald explains some important advice. Wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, cover your mouth when you cough. You've heard it all before, but medical officials say you need to take that advice seriously. If we take these steps, you know, we can limit the spread of the infection. And there are many in the population, like the elderly, you know, above 65, uh, or, or, you know, people with chronic medical conditions. Jawad Nazir is an infectious disease physician with Avera and says people should also practice social distancing. You should avoid, you know, crowded places. And I think you can define, you know, whatever way you want to define crowded places, but in general, avoid crowded places because, you know, those are the examples where you are at a high risk. Taking these steps can be beneficial in the long run. I think if we start seeing a sharp increase um, in the number of cases, especially in, in the uh, susceptible population like elderly with comorbid uh, conditions, you know, those patients at high risk for severe complications, uh, then we may require, you know, more beds in the hospital, more ventilators, more resources. Uh, so I think if we can limit the spread of this infection at the community level, uh, we may not overburden our healthcare settings and the hospitals. Important information for everyone. We all have to work together as a community, um, uh, you know, to kind of uh, win this battle. In Sioux Falls, Sarah McDonald, Kelloland News. Nazir also says to consider limiting non-essential travel and stay home if you're sick.